Good evening, my friends, and welcome to Shenanigans. Three, two, one. So happy to have you here with me today with the only day of the year that is considered to be a command. March 4th. Uh, I know. Horrible, horrible. Anyway, I know I've had big Timu hauls in the past. That's exactly what we're going to do today. Huge, huge. This box, I actually went through and priced everything. Had stuff I couldn't even fit back in there because it was a combination of this box being full as well as other items. Oh, I still have my hospital bracelet on. So yeah, if you've seen uh, the last haul that I did, which was a collaboration with Cindy Reviews, I'm actually wearing one of the shirts that she sent me. The shenanigans. Fits like a glove. With that being said, there's so many random products you're going to see in this haul. Um, keep in mind, prices do change. Again, uh, Timo, a little introductory. Timo's online marketplace where their slogan is, you can shop like a billionaire, and you can. And I do. Uh, I'm going to try to slow my roll. Maybe do more collaborations as opposed to filling up my garage. Because I just don't have the time to... Um, do anything well I, I guess i do now because i technically will have almost a week off yeah i uh was in the hospital um for a day uh, i had a indeed a black widow bite on my abdomen and uh they were concerned it was going to go into my bloodstream so uh, yeah that sucked um because my bees got some really strong antibiotics for one's a topical solution Four other ones, and they just make me sick to my stomach. I'm tired. I'm breaking out in sweats. It's nasty. But we're here. And now I have time. How about that? How about them apples? Anyway, go grab yourself a drink. This is going to be long. I hope you're in it for the long haul with me. Anyway, for all my new subscribers, thank you for being here. For all of my followers that have been with me, even just over the last few months, let alone from the very beginning, I love you guys. You are the absolute best. Got my drink, got my vape, got my tissue, got my Timu. So with that, let's dive right into it. Keep in mind what I paid for it. You might not. Prices can go down. The first product, the glasses will be on and off throughout this video. This was $17.78. Came nice and packed in this box. It's got the styrofoam that's going to be all over the living room. And you'll see me shift around a lot in the video because of... Pain. Plain and simple. Got the lid to the box. Okay, these are, um, so if you saw the haul where it was mostly bathroom decor that um, I was just going to, I got these floating shelves, uh, kind of farmstead decor I was doing, but they have these planners. So there's a total of six of them, different sizes. You can see the squares. What I am really surprised at, again, girl, read your descriptions, is they, yeah, they look like wood, but they're actually ceramic. And they're just little planners. Got this little square one. Put you back in there. Bing. Got this, I don't know, I would think that this is just, I don't think you could put, I mean, even a fake plant in there. But I'm thinking you could do it like that. Got a little round one. Got another square. This is more square. This one's a taller square, as you can see in the dimensions. One's fatter, one's taller and thin. And this one's got a cute little lip to it. Again, it's like pottery. I, I thought it was wood, which is fine. It looks like wood. I'm okay with it. I do want to get these back in the box because these are going in storage until I get the energy and time to paint the bathroom. I, I thought about hiring a painter, but they'll probably charge me $300 for just a small bathroom. And I'm like, I can do it. Might not be that professional. Still thinking about like a light gray with a white border. I got to find out if I can paint the borders vinyl. The vinyl. If I can paint the vinyl borders. See what I tell you, it's all over me already. That's just going to be how this goes. Going to jump right into the bag. A couple other things. This was $8.99. And what this is, is a lot of times, again, as a flight attendant, I come home. I don't have a lot of time at home. If it takes a day 
to thaw some meat out of the freezer. I don't have that kind of time. So this is uh, just a little plate. And again, it's just Jane and I, so it's perfect. Put two like little filet mignons or steaks or burgers, whatever on it. And it basically is supposed to cut your time in half for thawing the meat. Um, the safest way to defrost meat or frozen food quickly and naturally. It's very easy to clean, dishwasher safe, no need to use a microwave, electricity, chemicals or hot water. Defrost frozen food in minutes, even when frozen rock solid. Hand wash is recommended under 40 degrees Celsius. Do not use wire brushes or steel wool to clean the surface. So you can see this little picture. It says minutes. I actually almost want to go grab a piece of meat out of the freezer. Should we do it? I'm trying to think what kind of meat do I have in there? Yeah, I got a lot of stuff in the freezer. It would take me a while to kind of go through it. Well, I should have had something, but I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Maybe on my next video, I'll set this to the side. And being that my videos are normally at least an hour, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will, um, while I start the video, put a piece of frozen meat here and see how it works. So I'm going to chuck that over there to the other side of the sectional so I don't forget. Next product was $6.36. And it is a t-shirt. And as you know, not just for work as a flight attendant, I can tell you already, this has to be cotton. 95% polyester, 5% spandex. Surprise, because it felt like cotton. But I love to travel. Again, not just for work as a flight attendant. We cruise quite a bit. Uh, this year, I think we've only done two cruises. Normally we do four. But it's cute. It's got the little suitcase. And uh, this is an extra large. White is normally not a good color for me, because anytime I eat something, my shirt's always like, ooh, let me try. Let me taste that. Drip, drop. Doesn't matter. It could be a french fry and I'll have a stain on a brand new shirt. Yeah. Messy, messy, messy. Uh, next product is another shirt. This was $8.49. And I'm just going to go ahead and make a mess because I didn't bring a trash bag. This is an extra large as well. The shirt I'm wearing now is a large, which is a good fit, but this is the problem area. I'm almost tempted to show you the spider bite, but it's gross, so I will spare you. So this, yeah, this is definitely, it's not as spandexy. It's more cotton. I don't really have a whole lot of blue shirts. It's simple, it's cute, I like it. If anything, if I ever decide to go back to the gym, it'll be a good gym shirt, or just my leggings, or uh, jeans, whatever. This shirt, maybe I need to lose a couple more pounds because this is a large set, and this is the shirt, as I told you, my last haul, Lindy Reviews. Lindy. Cindy Reviews for You Got Me. And I love it, but... Uh, next product are some earrings. These were $2.39. Look at that. So that white, obviously, is just the backing. I'm trying to get it so you can see. Meow. How cute would that be with that shirt, though? I've got a whole bunch of these because if you've watched my other hauls, you know that I give uh, my crew oh, my rings backwards. That's also the, <laughs> as haven't taken it off, the ring that Cindy got me, that moissanite. And I'm sorry if it's blurry, but it's a little bling kind of rhinestone, just little airplane stud earrings. Really cute. Our earrings are supposed to be no larger than the size of a dime for work. Most of us don't obey the rules. I'm not one to follow rules. I make my own rules. But I got quite a few um, earrings, um, duplicate earrings, because it was like a lightning deal, and I give them away to the crew. You know, female pilots, whatever. Uh, some more earrings. These were 98 cents. And I think I had these in a Valentine's Day order, and for some reason they just they split the shipping, and they came later. Oh, there's, I'm looking for the lip. Good. They're cute. 98 cents. They say little XOs. They look like little movie tickets. Kind of like that acrylic. But I'll put those away for next year. I did, um, for a while there, I didn't get a whole bunch of uh, Timu jewelry. And then it was like, just kind of popped up again. And I'm like, oh, yeah. 
We should get some more holiday jewelry. And I got a lot. And Cindy sent me a lot in the last review. So um, after I got discharged from the hospital, after all my antibiotics and a shot of morphine, that surprisingly didn't hit me that hard. I thought I'd be like, but I was all right. Um, anyhow, came home. I'm just tired, I think is the main complaint. I'm just really, really tired. Some other earrings, again, a lot of these earrings, I'm not going to hold every single one of them up because they're duplicates because I bought like six, I think, of one pair that I really liked that was like really cheap. Uh, these were $1.69, and they're just cute other airplanes. I just thought they were really cute. They're different. Got like the little gems. Yeah, I like those. So it's uniform compliant. I got a few of those. Dollar sixty nine. Yeah, they're cute. I like it. I like it a lot. I don't know if I'm gonna get through this whole haul. I'm already starting to get like hot flashes. I think it's from the antibiotics. Um, next, some more earrings. These were seventy nine cents. And I don't need that bag. They're little dangly airplanes. I know there's a couple other people that have subscribed to my channels. Shout out to my fellow flight attendants. I think there's four of us now, not including myself. So I'll have to give one of these as a friend of mine, Serena, from work. Shout out to you, Serena, if you see this. I have to leave a pair of these for you in the crew lounge. Aren't they cute? And our uniform pieces basically are navy blue, gray, or and white, depending on what airline we're working. But yeah, these are cute. I'm gonna put these on because I like them. Lightweight, simple, simple, simple. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm sure most of you are going back to work tomorrow. I'm really kind of kicking myself in the arse because I, I can get paid partial if I want it out of my PTO, but I like to save my PTO vacation time for cruises. Oops, there goes the backing. So that's the only thing I hate about these little bags. Like they, I've got tons of backings, don't get me wrong. Timo, you can buy them on there super cheap. And I like the plastic ones. Um, Glass is all fogged up. What's going on? I told you I'm hot. It's hot. Um, these are little tiny airplanes. These were $1.48. And when I say little, these are really little, little, little. Almost like baby earrings. Oh, gosh, they are small. Might be the smallest earrings I have. I mean, if you look at it, because it could look like a charm on your nails. How cute would that be? It's even hard to hold up to the camera because it could be a nose ring. Let's see, a little big nose ring. I bet you if I cut down with my wire cutters on the end. Yeah, I had my nose pierced years ago. For the most part, it might have closed up, but nope, it's still there. Look, I could use it as a nose ring. Except for the post on it. It's kind of long. And I think we're allowed now um, to wear nose rings. Yeah, I would rock that as a nose ring, absolutely. Like I said, the only thing is the... The post on it is kind of concerning because it's a little bit long. Let me put those back in there. Those are cute. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I can cut it down with some wire cutters. I've got that um, Timu earring organizer in it. I've got two of them, and they're, like, practically filled up. I've got another one that hangs in the closet, but uh, I've got a lot, a lot of jewelry. And I'll still buy more. And I think I might be addicted now to this moissanite stuff. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Next product. $6.74. What do we have here? We have another shirt. And sadly, I think I ordered dupes of these, not realizing I had already bought them. And this one, oh, it's so soft. I think I want to go off camera and put it on. 
Yeah, I might do that because this one's a little tight and it's kind of tight around my spider bite just because it's so inflamed. Um, I don't see a size, but at this one I think I'm going to swap out. And it says adventure awaits. How cute is that going to be with my airplane earrings? I like it. Yeah, I wish I could pause these videos. You know, I keep saying I'm going to use this um, app so I can learn how to pause the videos and come back and try stuff on for you and go grab that steak like out of the freezer and put it on the plate to defrost. But if I attempt to pause the video now, it's going to shut it off completely and I either have to start recording again or do a part two. I don't want to do that to you. Um, next product was my birthday and shenanigans. What is it? Three, two, one, March 21st. And it is a St. Patty's Day decor. So next year I'll have a little bit more. Just says, kiss me, I am Irish. Solid. Thicker wood base, very like thick. So that's not going to have a hard time. You know, if you get stuff like this at the dollar store, it's so thin on the bottom, it'll blow over if you walk by it and you get a little bit of breeze on it. This ain't going nowhere. And I'm thinking about getting the shamrock covered and I think like maybe the clover, if they can like kind of shape it up a little bit because it's off centered, it'll be bigger, but I want it more centered. Maybe they could do something like that, like do the clover with the white, green, and orange Irish flag. I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, I like the concept of the shamrock in this tattoo. I've got seven, but the way the guy did it, he was drunk. I think I told you that story. Horrible. See, this is all jewelry. So I think what I'm going to do, just depending on how I feel... I mean, there's a lot in here, a lot, a lot. I will just grab one product because I already know it's my lanyard for work. It was $2.54. And um, it's like a badge holder. They got really nice lanyards, actually. So it's just like a silver chain. And then it got has the pearl and the little bling bling sparkle and then a leaf. And then you just clip your badge on this, you could use it as a keychain, I guess. I mean, a decorative piece, I don't know. I'm going to use it for my lanyard, but it is kind of long. But it's all right. Yeah, I think that's pretty. Oh, I really wish I could pause this, but here we go. Like, there is so much jewelry in here. So I'm going to just put that to the side for now and try to get to the bigger items. I'm going to make a hot mess up in here. Um, I'm not going to take these out. Uh, the reason being, maybe I'll take one out, is a lot of them are going to be gifts again. Like if I'm on a work trip and I work most holidays, I like to dress up. And sometimes the other flight attendants might have a little brooch pin or something. I'm like, oh no, let's, let's make our passengers happy. You know what, I guess I could take this out. Why not? It was $1.79, and it's just uh, rabbit ears. I'm looking for, there it is. So maybe I can set it back in there. Or maybe not. You know what? I like this one, so I'll probably keep this one for myself anyway. I'm going to open it. My hair is a mess. It's driving me nuts watching uh, my last video a little bit because I had a hair up like that. Like, there's something about Mary through, like, the whole video, and it just drove me nuts. These nuts. But, yeah, um, the ears have wire in them, so I like that you can wear one down, wear them both down, wear them both straight up. And it's got, like, that sequence, little bling bling. Look at that. That'll go with the other lanyard I have for work. I mean, can you see that? Right? And the headband, decent material. I want to see if I can find some of those stamper pins that I have for Valentine's Day where I put hearts like on my face and it looked like little tattoos. What I'd actually like to do with that, if I can find the stamp stick pin, is one with little bunny prints. How cute. And then, I'm, you know, because I'm extra. If you guys haven't figured that out, I am over the top. I'm extra. Just not basic. Always have been extra. But I will even take... A little nose or buck teeth and just 
you know, it's more or less for the kids. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I have fun with it, too. But this is about as close to being a Playboy punny. Punny. <laughs> yes. I know. I was trying to make a joke. No, really, I wasn't. It was my enunciation. Uh, this is the closest I'll ever get to being a Playboy bunny. So, let me see. I think this is... Huh. You guys, I might have to come back and just do a separate jewelry theme. This is all jewelry, too. And I'm going to add that to the other bag. There'll be a couple pieces, hit or miss, I'm sure. This alone will be a two-hour haul, so... I'm going to spare you, I think, for now. Again, um, I have a few days off, so I'll come back and do another video, maybe in a couple days. Um, so I have never made my own T-shirts or did the irons on. So I know Ashton Beauty has done a few. And I'm thinking, you know what? Sometimes, like, at Michael's, you can get T-shirts for $2 or even dollar store. And thrift stores, of course, solid T-shirts. Walmart's not going to cost much, maybe 5 6 bucks. But I saw an iron on. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll try my hand at making my own shirt, right? This was 98 cents. And I, I just thought it was really cute. It's an iron-on. Isn't that cute? And then I thought maybe I, I guess I would go to Michael's or wherever. Where would you go for iron-on? And if I wanted to put, like, don't worry, be hoppy or something cute and creative like that on a T-shirt. How cute. I like it. So just an iron on 98 cents. Um, I, I know I keep saying I'm going to chill with my hauls because I, I'm getting out of control now and starting to realize that maybe, you know, as great as Timo is, as great as, you know, I'm affiliate, still haven't really had a fully sponsored um, video and I pay for everything on my own and, you know, there's bigger things I want to do, like just painting the bathroom, or if I don't want to clean one week and hire a cleaning lady, I can get more stuff like this, or I don't know. So I'm kind of in the middle. I don't know if I might just, I, I don't want to retire the channel as much as I just think I need to pull back and maybe pump out once a month or twice a month. But yeah, we'll see. I say that, but I'm indecisive. Um, next product, I have nine sheets. It's a total of 160 pieces, and they're window, window clings, window stickers, $4.19 for nine sheets, 160 pieces. And I guess I can show you a few of them because they're different. And you guys say you like the descriptions. You like when I go and put the prices down. Again, what I paid for it at the time, I do do the price adjustment. Um, I don't want to just breeze through it and be like, yeah, I got this, I got this, I got this. I want to show you. So, let's do it. Again, I really don't think I'm going to get through this entire haul, y'all. Oh, look at me, I'm a rapper. I rhyme every time. I don't want to ruin the packaging because, obviously, I have my St. Paddy Day stuff up still. Jay actually takes pictures now. He... He'll compliment it, and he'll say, oh, I don't mind it that much because you're not really spending that much. Yes, I told him. But he's like, if it makes you happy, it makes me happy. But uh, I, I think it's funny. Okay, so we got this one that says hello. So it looks like there's two of those. They look the same, right? Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Hello from the other side. Anyway, uh, there's another one. That's some. I want an Easter egg. I want an Easter egg. Look how cute. His allergies are really messed up already. Um, he gets them earlier, and then by the time he starts getting over his allergies, mine kick in. Mine are like five times worse than his. Those like I look stoned. True story, I was in the sixth grade, and we used to have recess outside of school, and they had just cut the grass, we went out for recess playing kickball, double dutch, Chinese, jump rope, you guys remember that if you're my age, and uh, one of the teacher's aides told me that they should go to the nurse because my eyes were really, really swollen and draining, and I could barely see, and nose is stuffed, 
And he called my mom at home. And again, I was brought up in a very strict Pentecostal church, right? Um, too strict. But anyway, they called my mom and said, we think your daughter is smoking marijuana. I was in the sixth grade. I didn't smoke marijuana till I was at least in seventh grade. That's, sorry, bad joke. I think I was 10th grade, but... <laughs> Anyway, they called my mom and said, oh, yeah, we think she's on drugs. She's on marijuana. My mom's like, what? She comes down, picks me up at school. They check me out of school. My mom flipped. She's like, you guys are idiots. She has severe allergies. My allergies were so bad as a kid. How bad were they? They were so bad as a kid that I had to go every single week to get shots. Shots. Not Benadryl tablets. Shots. This guy's really cute. We have a lot of windows in the house because we're on a corner lot. We have one, two, three in the dining room, like the big bay window and the two sides. Uh, living room has one, two. Laundry room has one. Spare bedroom has one big one. Our main bedroom has a sliding glass door to the back porch where we had our black widows. Um, and another big window. So, yeah, a lot of windows to cover. Now, normally I don't do the side windows because only the landscapers see it. I usually just do the front display. And here's other ones. Yeah, it was on a window tinge. This was $4.49 just for this one. But the other thing that I'll do is like the, you've seen the kitchen hutch, the dining room hutch, I should say. So I'll put these, if you haven't seen them, on that. Maybe on some mirrors. Maybe in the bathroom you can put one on the corner mirror, especially because my bathroom is kind of considered like the guest bathroom when people come over. We got the mirror over the kitchen sink. They look good on the microwave, on the dishwasher. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm so clingy. This one was two thirty. Yeah, I got a lot of them. I don't know how many are in here. And let's see if it says. I go grab the ears. Um, I think it's just one sheet for a dollar two dollars thirty. There better be more than one sheet in here for two thirty. Sheet. One sheet for two thirty. They better be some long lasting clint. You know what, y'all? I lied. There's two of them. Okay. All right. There you go. One. Got your little carrot. And the other. So what my mom used to do is she used to take carrots when we uh, for the Easter bunny. You know, you give back. You get what you give. So she would put carrots out for the Easter bunny. And then she'd chew them, and I swore the Easter Bunny came when I'd have my basket with white chocolate because I, I didn't like chocolate, milk chocolate, dark chocolate. I didn't like chocolate, cocoa, anything like that until I got older. And even now, I'm not, like, the biggest fan. I always like the white chocolate. So the Easter Bunny would bring me white chocolate, and I like white jelly beans. And um, anyway, when my kids were young, what I did is I took it a step further because I'm extra. So I got these, you know, the car wash sponges. They kind of look like kidney beans like this. Let me give you guys an idea. You have little kids, you can put it in flour. So you get a bucket of water, a bucket of flour, and you put the sponge in there like that. And you put it in the water, and then you dunk it in the flour. You get two of them, and you do bunny hops like this. And it leaves little track marks. So one day we did a scavenger hunt for the neighborhood kids. I used to own my own child care. And I took all the kids... Um, you know, pre-Easter celebration, especially for my youngest son, Devin, he had it. Um, and I did these bunny marks like every other step and it took hours, but it was a trail with a letter from the Easter bunny saying, I left you some goodies, but you got to find them in the park. So I went like real, I'm talking two o'clock in the morning cause I'm nuts. Took the plastic eggs, stuffed them with all kinds of candies, put them in tree trunks and yeah. Something the kids, my son to this day says he'll never forget. This is a table runner. It was $3.48. I tried getting everything to match this year. Um, one thing I have not done yet is gotten the seat covers. And I really like the way the seat covers look in the dining room. And to think that there's really not much I'm going to do after Easter. You know, it kind of rolls in from the harvest to Easter. But it just says Easter on the bottom. And then it's got all your little peeps. Isn't it cute? And then again. Just, oh shit. 
I thought that was cute. Uh, what? Let's see if it tells you the measurements, because I don't measure. I'm like, oh, if it's too big for the china cabinet, it'll go over the island, the bar, kitchen island. It's kind of wide, wider than the shamrocks I got in there now. And it was 13 inches by 72 inches. Whee, I'm already getting tired, guys. I'm only at 30 minutes. Damn. Diablo. Hold up. I gotta put this in there, right? Because I'm already gonna be cleaning up all the extra baskets that I'm severing. I really, I hate, I had perfect attendance and I called out. And yes, I know I need a break. Just not just because of the PTSD and everything else, but my body just really, really needs a break. And um, it's catching up with me. But I hate losing money. And I hate more than that, knowing that I'm going to be out of work and I'm at home. Like, yeah, I got a lot of stuff I could do here. I could do gardening. I could do all that. I'm not feeling well, though. I don't have the energy. And it's like, if I'm going to miss a week of work and not get my real pay for it, I want to be in Europe or the Caribbean, you know. Um, another set of rabbit ears. These were $1.79. They also have the wires in them. They're basic. I don't want to take it out. Forgive me. But it's just uh, the white ears in the back and pink in the middle. It's kind of a, it's like a glittery little satin, but not like these. They're not the extra sparkle like these. And again, if they're gifts, I just don't want to take them out. These I haven't decided what I'm going to do with them. Um, crafting. Um, I used to, I haven't done it in a while, make like fake cakes, like the faux cakes and cookies and chocolate pieces, like our little gingerbread house. I actually, shout out Courtney, I want to make her something for her kitchen. I, I love it. But um, there was just, I think it was COVID one year and I was just watching DIY you know, YouTube videos on crafting. I'm like, oh my God, that is so cool. I got spacula. I got brown paint. I've got frosting bags, you know. And, um, I don't know, it'd be cute. I can probably make it like a cake, like an Easter cake, and put these little foam eggs on there. They're, they're like, pinche, pinche. Uh, two hundred, yeah, I paid $298 for this. $2.98 for a hundred pieces. Um, all different colors. I love the speckled look. I'm just going to kind of open it a little. Like, um, I could probably put them on some of the wire the wires and put them as accent pieces inside my floral arrangements, which by the way, I switch up my floral arrangements to go with the decor. So obviously we have, I don't know, can we, we got the pink, lavender, orange, yellow, light blue, got just a whole bunch, a hundred pieces. That's a lot. Or again, I've got some little cute Easter decor that I can fill them in. Um, just even like a little vase, you know, the bottom. Cool. I'll find something for it, that's for sure. Time to hit that vape. Some more ears. These were $1.99. Now these are fluffy. $1.99. Wires. I love that they have the wires. Right? See them kind of dusty off a little bit. But those are really soft. It's like a teddy bear. And if you guys ever do this and you gift it and you go through and you just take a permanent marker and put it on the outside of these bags, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Just take a cotton swab, a little bit of rubbing alcohol. What is that? Like cheaper in the grocery store. Don't pay $1.25 for it in the dollar store. You can get it for $0.79 cents at your local grocery store. And then when you write the price on there, it comes right off. It won't come off like that, but it'll come off with the rubbing alcohol. Oh, why did I put it down there? This is one of the flags. I have a garden flag. Right now, of course, I have the St. Patty's all through the house. This was $1.93. And again, I, I really like the peeps. I don't know if it came out this year, if it was out before, but it's in front of the house. And it just says, welcome, peeps. 
So yeah, I think I paid for the bracket that you stake in the ground where you just put it through like a curtain rod. You just put the rod through here. And it pulls out through the other side. And it'll hang like that and it'll blow in the breeze. But I think I paid like $22 for that sucker for just the stake without a flag. And I bet you if I would have known about Timu when I got that, it probably was a lot cheaper. I got a lot of rabbit ears. Again, I'm telling you, I give them out to my coworkers because I don't want to be the only one wearing rabbit ears. Let's all like just get together and be the best crew this plane has ever seen. These were $2.49, all right? Now they're different. Now I had these, if you saw any of my Christmas hauls, I had little elf ears. So you got the fluffiness, as you can see, it's kind of coming off a little bit. That's okay. So it's just the pink on the inside and the white, but I don't know how much to say it, guys. Barret roach clip, that's what. But they stay in. If the headband, especially if I'm working a 12-hour shift, sometimes the headband will hurt. So I'll just throw it up like that. Obviously, neater, you know. Like I'll do a little twist, make sure they're even, but... Bunny ears. Why not? Two forty nine. I think I got a few of these, like I said, for my crew. Kids love it. I mean, it's some of the fondest memories I have of my childhood, so my mom would be silly like that. Next product, I got matching earrings for this, so keep this shirt in mind. Not this hairdo. This was seven dollars and forty eight cents. And I thought it was adorable. This isn't the one that I thought that I had the matching earrings. So, I mean, I got little bunny furry earrings that are cute. Very soft. It's not that spongy material. But I thought that was sweet. Kind of grandmomish for me. I'm pretty plain. That's why, like, this shirt I'm wearing now that Cindy picked out is, like, perfect for me. doesn't have a size. I believe it's a large, though. It looks like a large to me. But... I don't know. Cute. And then, uh, do you guys put away, like, your seasonal clothes like I have been? So I'll have, like, my fall uh, and spring clothes, and then I'll have the winter. It does get kind of cold here, not like my upstate New York winter days. Where are you guys at, anyway? What's the weather like where you're at? It's been really windy here. Um, those funny ears I just had on, again, for two forty nine. I told you I got a second set that I just put on for you. These are a little bit different. This was $1.99, believe it or not, for a three-piece set. So, wires again in the ears, but this I'm going to take it out because it has a couple extra pieces. Um, it has... Now, this is really loose, so if it's a bow tie, I'm going to have to tighten it with the elastic in the back. But a little bow tie, maybe tuck in that double chin. How do you put this on your butt? I don't know, but it's supposed to be a cotton tail. Maybe I could safety pin just the little cotton tail on the back. Because this, like, am I going to wear it like a belt? I mean, that might look a little tacky. And then, again, your ears. And these are more on the fluffy side. Are they all white? Are they all white? Or is it all wrong? <laughs> no, they're all white. So, <clears throat> a bow tie, little bunny tail, can you imagine, with the little nose and whiskers and some buck teeth? I don't care. I think it's cute. I was talking to Jay uh, today because I only have barely three years till I can retire with my company. You can retire at 55 or 10 years, which is pretty much both for me, which I didn't know when I started my career with the company I work for. Um, and it's like, what are you going to do? Because I want to be home. Now I'm getting older. My health is deteriorating. I want to be home more. And, um, you know, being that I was a medical assistant before, surgical technician, paramedic for not that long because I was too emotional. Um, pharmacy tech. I mean, I'm on so much medication now. I know practically what all the medications there would be a good fit for me. 
This was, uh, next product was $5.49. Anyway, yeah, we were talking about, like, what are you going to do when you retire? I could still stay doing what I do, but the way I've been feeling lately, just getting really drained and worn out, I'm not so sure. $5.49. Again, uh, Jay's grandson, I consider him my own, is, uh, just turned two on Valentine's Day. And you've seen the other puppets. Now, I will tell you that his mouth is supposed to open and close, but your fingers will get cramped up in there. And it's like a lot of stuffing for the mouth portion. Hoi, ho, 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 Easter. Um, ears, no wires. It'd be cute if they had the wires in there, but is that a, I don't know it's a rabbit because he's got the buck teeth. Please like and subscribe to my channel. No, 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 no. But yeah, I, I think um, they're cute, don't you? Like, I don't know. I just, I like entertaining people and I think I'm funny. I don't know. But yeah. Why I got them, I don't know. I got into the puppet gig. I had that little ostrich puppet and I was digging it. This, I guess, I'll take out, too, because, hmm, yeah. This is a six-piece set. It was $5.99, so literally paid, like, a dollar each for them. And they're just placemats. I already had, I don't know if I had two or four, but our table, if we pulled the leaf out, let's say if it's Thanksgiving, it fits one, two, three, four, six, and then our bar has two more seats, and then, of course, we could do a makeshift's table so this would be perfect um because they're bigger placements place mats for the table they just got the natural wood or even uh with the wedding we're gonna do kind of an outdoorsy wedding um this will be decent maybe it's a centerpiece and then just put like our flower or whimsical like farmstead um we hike a lot so that's why we're thinking of doing something like this but i could use these for the wedding i could just use it this placement. This is uh, for my garden. It was $2.28. I'm not going to take it out. It's a moss plant pole. So it's got the heavy wooden stake. And you put that in, like, let's say, and I have a lot of big planters. Um, what can I use this for? I mean, the tomato plants, I use different kind of latches and ropes. I've had that in another haul, but yeah, it's supposed to have, I, I do have a Christmas tree um, that I'll probably put out in the fall of this year, depending on, I got to research how the weather is out here, but this is basically vines will grow around it. It's just supposed to support anything in your garden, maybe peppers. That'll work. I can clamp the bands around the, the, that kind of looked bad. Um, the center of like a tree, like the trunk, and just kind of wrap it around like that. But you get it. Holy smoke. Again, uh, the same three piece set I just showed you with the rabbit ears, the all white with the pink bow tie and the cotton tail, $1.99. Here's the shirt I was telling you that when I do the jewelry hard haul, uh, 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 remember this shirt because it got earrings that match it perfectly. The design on the shirt. I love it. And uh, the thing with this one is it's a long sleeve. I don't know if I did that on purpose, but how cute. Now, again, I used to smoke cigarettes and um, obviously you can't vape on the flight. So I chew gum to the point where I get migraines. And I just thought that was so cute. It is a size large and it is, my glasses, Lord have mercy. 95% polyester, 5% spandex, but it doesn't feel really spongy. It's got the longer sleeves, so it'll be nice on the cooler days or if we're on a cruise. We're planning one to Finland, Norway, Estonia, Sweden, Switzerland. We're planning that for May. So this will be good if it gets cool on the ship at night. 
I thought it was cute. And I got the earrings to match it. And of course the headband too. I've got that pink, same pink headband. So with the earrings, I'm like, I'm going to be styling them, y'all. I'm going to be styling. Holy smokes. I'm not going to take this out. It is, I'll take it out. $6.79. So um, the landscapers come, they mow the lawn, they seed it, but they don't like do my gardening, obviously. They don't trim my rose bushes. And for the longest, Jay would get really agitated with me because I clip, you know, pruning the rose bushes and I'd have all these thorny branches, just pile them on the ground. Landscapers have broken almost every rake I ever bought and make it expensive. Um, and I was lazy, so I didn't pull our big trash cans out to the back or side of the house. And I would just leave them there until I got like a lawn bag. But I like the idea of this lawn bag because, holy smokes, that is huge. All right, it's got the handles, which I like, on the sides, both sides, or is it one side? Oh my gosh, why did I get such a big one? So, oh my goodness, yeah, it's got the handle here and the handle here. Yeah, it was a mistake to open this, you guys. But yeah, I would just put in all the um, cut-off rose bushes in there, but it's supposed to be open so it has this wire that goes in the inside so it holds it open so it's not flat like that on the ground it will literally stay open with that wire so i can just sweep leaves the rose branches this is actually really good for camping too i mean use your imagination just because it says it's used for your lawn use it for something else that Camping, wet clothes, I don't know. But, get in there. Yeah, I definitely got to chill out. I think I have more than enough gardening stuff now. I've got more than enough clothes. I've got enough. I'm actually not, I love Timu, don't get me wrong. It's not even because I pay for everything. It's not even that. It's just, I mean, I love the friendships and everything I formed here, but... It's just stockpiling up and we have like almost 1300 square feet living space. It's just a two bedroom. Well, two and a half, two bedroom. There is another room that could be a third bedroom, but it's like the size of you put a twin bed with a nightstand next to it and a small dresser. It's small and that's used for storage in the garage, private entrance. I mean, it's cool, but I my bigger house. But I don't want to clean it. But if I'm home more, I can. All right. This was $3.14. And I have one of these. But the one I have is very simple. And, you know, ice is supposed to be really good for your face. So I don't know if you just throw this whole thing. I don't know if I put water in the roller or if I freeze it like that. Because it feels like there's something in it. I don't know, because I don't see a hole on where you open it. I would think, I was like, oh, maybe I just put water in it and it freezes on the inside. But it looks like this little contraption will freeze. And there's no other openings on the handle. And hopefully I didn't break it. But yeah, I guess you just freeze it and then oh, you roll it over your face, kind of massage your face. Get the circulation flowing. I mean, it feels good even just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool beans. Next product. Did I price it? $4.48 for this. Bathroom. Sorry if you can't see it. It's just an outlet cover. It's silver on the border. I've got the dual, you know, the fan. I had the wrong price on there initially, but yeah, it goes like that. And then I'll have the fan switch and the light switch. It's got all the screws in it, just basic. Um, so I have that switch and then I have another thing in the room. Don't mind that. I was trying to price it and realized I had the wrong price. And then this was $5 and 47 cents. It's hyaluronic acid. Um, let me try to open it. Hydrates, plumps, smooths, 8-D-hydrolonic acid 
and tripeptid clean vegan 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 clean vegan visible results in seven days so if you guys saw on my last haul not my collab i had that little serum thing that had the needles and i didn't think the needles were as sharp as they needed to be but it says you put your own serum in them serum so i'm thinking these you just twist off i guess the cap and you can put smooth it up over your face but if i actually put it in the needle doppler uh, I'm going to try it. Reverse that aging process. Please, I'm all about it. And if I had money, if I was a billionaire, not just shopping like one, but if I was a legit billionaire, I am all for plastic surgery. Like, I wouldn't go crazy. I don't want to look like Mickey Rourke or anything or Joan Rivers. Rest in peace. But I want to look young. I want to look like my mom. She looks younger than me. Um... I'm just going to grab here. Next product was sold out. It says it was $2.93. I believe it's some... Um, you never know what you have until it's gone. Toilet paper, for instance. Why is this green? There's no way I ordered it in green. There's no way. And I got to relook at that order because my bathroom is going to be gray and white with the brown. But that was supposed to go in the bathroom. So that is probably going to be either given away to somebody and one of my winner. One of these days I'll do the winner um, mystery box and just send out extra stuff like that to people as opposed to fight with Timo. Not, you don't know, fight with Timo for a refund. They're really good with their refunds, actually. But for me to even go to the post office, that's time out of my day I don't have. When I tell you I have no extra time in my day, my days come home, I clean, I do laundry, I unpack, I repack, I meal. Prep, I take care of Jay, spend time with him. Timo Halls, that's pretty much my life. Go back to work and do it again. Um, this was 75 cents in their seed pouches. They're supposed to be biodegradable for 75 cents. I'm like, okay, whatever. So uh, depending on how much time I have and how deep I get into gardening this year, you just basically will put your soil in here. A lot of times I cheat and I'll get them already started as opposed to starting from seeds. But yeah, they're just little pouches. Okay, kind of feels like fabric softener sheets. You put your soil in there, the nutrients, magnesium, whatever you need to grow, whatever you're growing. You seal it, put it in the ground. And this pouch is biodegradable. And I mean, for 75 cents, how many did I say were in there? I didn't. A lot. We'll just say a lot. A thousand. Oops. Like, there's a lot in there, for real. A hundred. A hundred pieces. So, less than a penny each. Give it a whirl. I think it's be better for flowers. Because I think when... Well, I know. When I do my vegetable garden, I like it already started. I'll go to the nursery and get, like, a couple peppers that already have sprouted. And then plant those that just... All right. More gardening stuff. This was $5.49. I think it's gardening. I think this is one of those, like, topsy-turvy. Oh, crap. It's got... Yeah, you guys, what is it? Help me out, because I don't know. Maybe it's just a bag. It's got handles on it. Pretty sure it's gardening, though. It's, like, got these little circles on the side that... I think it's, like, for... Oh, strawberries, I bet. I bet this is the thing that you hang... And I had a strawberry patch, and it started out all right. And then it was just like after the third season, it just went to crap. Let's see. Doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure. Let me know in the comments, you guys, if you know what I ordered. Because I, I'm pretty sure it's for strawberries or, like, tomatoes. But... That would throw me off with the way the handles are on the bag. I know I'm not the only one that does it. All right, next product is $5.45. Thought it was going to be bigger. Love it because it's wood. Um, But it's supposed to be a cake stand. Like, I guess, a cake for two people. So now do I have to go out and get cake bands this size? So it is solid wood. Acacia wood color, it says. It uh, doesn't have the dimensions, but I thought it was bigger. But, I mean, you could use it for different things. I even put it in the bathroom and put my rings on there when I wash my hands and stuff. Or I even thought, like, if 
that would be a cute little cake I can make, like the fake cake, and send it to our little gingerbread house and just keep the box and send it to her with the cake right on there for her kitchen. Maybe. Those, the, I'll tell you, making that fake food, if any of my friends, let me know in the comments if you've ever done it or made it. Um, a lot of times it's really simple, like, it's a lot simpler than you think, but it takes days because it has to cure, so to speak. Like um, one of them, I use spackle, like you'd spackle a hole in your wall and you can get that at the dollar store, little containers. And you just get the foam discs. Maybe one day I'll do a video and you just put the spackling over it. You let it dry and then you paint it. So if you want like chocolate cake, you paint it and get your little spatulas and do the fancy drawings. And then you get the piper piping bag and you can use a spackler but I forgot what else it was I used it was like some kind of molding clay and I made then you get like little fake fruits and you could do like a strawberry shortcake I you know what honestly I I paint all right I'm definitely no painter I'm no Bob Ross I have fun with it but I think everybody has some kind of talent they're not aware of um next was two dollars and nine cents and they're just latex gloves um so grown up in Philly, grew up with a lot of Puerto Ricans and um, they, it's horrible, but we used to always clean our house with ammonia and bleach. The fumes would get you messed up and we have gloves at work for a while that I would take, but my hands are really small and their smallest size was medium. So when I saw these gloves in the small, I was like, yeah, I need that. Shimone, Shimone. Shadow puppets. But yeah. Um, so yeah, just a bunch of gloves. So anyway, I want it, my hands would smell like bleach for days or pine saw. Now I use a fabuloso because it's fabuloso. But um, yeah. Or when I'm even painting, like I just stained my shelf, my uh, shoe rack, I should show you. I'm going to show you. Can you see? Wow. <sighs> See the shoe rack? So there's the black shelf that I always decorate, the big one, right? And the shoe rack was an off, uh, it was just all natural wood looking, but I wanted it to match the shelf, so I painted it. Sorry, I forgot you guys, a little tipsy, turvy, upside down, you turvy. Next product, $5.87. What do we have here? Oh, it did calm down. I told Timo it didn't arrive. I must have put it in there, didn't realize it. So those little Easter eggs, right? Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. I love this. Usually I say I thought it was going to be bigger. I thought this was going to be smaller. And I'll tell you what, I paid five, what did I say, 585 for it? 587. Right? Tell me that is not the cutest thing. It's got the wood, metal, it says flowers on there. And I could put this up year round. I thought it was kind of Easter ish but fill it with these eggs, right? And then I have little bunny rabbits I could have riding on top, driving the bike. I don't know if I showed this in a previous haul. I don't think I did, because I had it for a little while, but oh my God, I forgot I had it. Really cute, I love that. That's kind of farmsteadish, right? What do you guys, do you think it's kind of farmish, right? antique -ish? I don't know, I like it. That's my story, I'm sticking to it. Next product. $19.99. I don't even know what it is. Oh, I think it's the stand I got for the bathroom. And it is. So, it's got, she's got legs. She knows how to use them. So, it's got the little peg legs. That was cute. I almost want to, you know, let me see. Let me see. I'm going to rip it open because I'm excited. But it's um like a little vanity thingamajig. Like I say, no, you don't even have to put the legs on it. It's the bottom. Distressed wood look. Right, but then you put it, you don't have to put the legs on. You can. Does it just screw in, or do I have to put the top screws on? I think I gotta put toppers on it. No? Lefty Lucy. There we go. 
I'm going to put the legs on it. I'm going to show you guys this. I saw this and I had it in the cart for a little while and then I just kept like putting it back. And then I was just like, you know what? I don't want things to sell out. I've had that happen. And then I'm like, dang it, I knew I should have got it. Um, trying to get all the trash in one pile. And again, I'm trying to save some of this bubble wrap because I have a lot of extras that I want to send out to some people. Even if I split it up. Like, I mean, I, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers, you guys. So, like, if I have a bunch of XLs or 2XL shirts and that's your size... And maybe there's 10 of you and I have 10 sweaters. I'm going to send at least everybody one as opposed to sending the whole loot to one person. One thing that's good for me is I do get a discount through my company for shipping, depending on your location. But, um, yeah, or even earrings. If I have, I've got tons of rings that I bought in the wrong size that are just sitting in a jewelry box. And it's like, I'd rather have stuff I can wear instead of going, oh, I want to wear this ring today. Oh, yeah, that's right. That one is a fit. So I put the legs on the bottom of it, and it's just like a little stand. I mean, how pretty is that? I mean, $19.99, so let's call it 20 bucks. I like it. I like the white distressed wood. I like wood anyway, but I thought maybe it would brighten the bathroom once I get it done. I don't know. I can even put, like, because I've got a whole bunch of facial care. I've got my serums. I've got my moisturizer, night moisturizer. Maybe even just, like, the lotions, toothbrush holder. I don't know. But I like it. I'm going to be careful with that. I mean, that even kind of goes with this, right? Isn't that cute? Like, just to put those out, maybe on the mantle. Oh, I'm out of control. Somebody stop me. I'll save this one. The next thing, okay, I'm not going to take it out. It's a battery charger. Um, it says for a car, truck, motorcycle, um, repair 12 volt 6A. So I want to look at it. Um, battery charger and maintainer, pulse repair, multiple protection, winter, summer, intelligent detection, recover lost battery capacity, and restore batteries to original performance. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to have Jay look at this. I am taking it out. I guess you charge it up and leave it in the car. And then if you need a jump, which sometimes, especially if you live in cold weather, you will. And I guess you got your positive and negative for your battery. But I mean, it's small, so I can't really imagine that charging like my truck quickly. I thought it would be bigger. But uh, for Jay's motorcycle, it's new, so I don't think he needs this. But I don't know. It was different. And I was like, well, I'd rather have something like this in my car. I mean, my truck. Minivan, technically. I call it a truck because it sounds cooler than saying I drive a minivan. But, uh, yeah, I'll let him look at that. He's been wanting to place it in order for somebody who gets on me for all the stuff I order. He's like, yeah, let me take a look at it. I'm like, go ahead. Just let me know what you want. Next product was $2.48. And it's just a hook. I don't need to show you. You go over the door to reach hook. They sell them at the dollar store. This one, I guess I can take it out. I keep saying I'm not going to, but it's just, I got the gray kind of clear. It's plastic, acrylic. But yeah, I'll put that over the door. Remember that bunny wreath I got? Hopefully it hangs down we've got really high ceilings so hopefully it's not going to be at the top of the door anyway but yeah i've been needing one of those i had a metal one i used for my christmas wreath and have no idea what happened to it um the other uh wall outlet cover this was three dollars and 27 cents it matches the other one so this is to plug in like my curling irons and blow dryer and the other one was just the light switch with the silver plate at top again uh, the home farmstead look I'm trying to go for for the bathroom. These are just metallic pens. They were $2.24. Great for crafting. I remember having something like this when I was younger. I don't know. Uh, you can see this. 
Let's just... Oh, you can't see that in there, but usually you got to push in the tip. Yeah, well, you can't. I can see it, but I'm sure you can't. So I tip the box back over, but it's silver and gold. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. There we go. Kind of cool for crafting or if you did journaling or who knows. Next product, a heat tool. I have no idea what this is, but it was $7.99. Color shade and add patterns to plastic shapes with colored pencils. Make holes, cut shapes, holding plastic down with good skewer, shrink. Allow piece to curl and twist when piece flies. I don't know what this is. Can you guys help me out for all my crafters out there? What do I do with this? Leave something for me in the comments, please. Um, I guess that heats up. It's got an on and off switch. Plugs in. Like... I don't know what that's for. Why would I get something I'm not sure about? Um, I'm sure I thought it was like a glue gun or something else and just didn't read it properly because I rushed through everything. But it said something about colored pencils. Like, can you do something to artwork with colored pencils? And it's got like directions here. No idea. Pretty silly for me to spend $7.99 on something. I have no idea what it's for. Oh, let me get back in there. I'm going to end up throwing all this back in here after I haul it because I'm too tired to put it away tonight. We're getting through it, though. Getting through it. This, again, don't know why I got it. It was $1.49. $1 it says they are refill nasal whips. And they kind of are like coffee filters. I thought it was chalk at first because I do have an old-fashioned chalkboard in the dining room. But I'm thinking this somehow ties into the nasal things I get. You guys have seen those. A lot of people, I I, I have seen haul them where it, they're energizing. They're kind of like the Vicks vapor sticks and it's supposed to wake you up. Uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, two premium pillowcases. I'm going to take these out of the package because I even though I just washed the pillowcases yesterday... Um, the ones in, I got a brand new set in the, um, guest bedroom because Jay's parents were in town and we got a brand new, um, very expensive, like Tempur-Pedic mattress for them. They're older and, um, I do try for my guests more than myself to get like the bamboo sheets, the higher thread counts. And it probably should have looked at this. I mean, these are soft. They're just a neutral type. It looks peachy on but um damn it i have enough of the larger pillowcases these are not too too not like the king size we have a california king guest bedroom has a queen um let me see what size i got damn it scared me two queen 30 by 20 524 for five dollars and 24 cents machine washable wrinkle free sleep school silky soft Hypoallergenic echo flavor. Echo flavor. Friendly. Um, 50 centimeters by 75 centimeters. The color is butter, baby. It's butter. So 30 by 20. It's a, just this premium pillowcases. They do feel higher quality. And y'all, no joke, I have a pillow fetish. I think it's beyond just like a hoarding thing. It is a straight up fetish. I literally barricade, like build a fort around my back, between my legs, between my kneecaps, have to hug one under here. Uh, I can fall asleep on Jay's chest or spooning, but I'm surrounded by a fort of pillows. I'm, I've got issues. Um, tons of pillows and I try to replace them. I would love to tell you I try to replace them every three months, but truthfully, it's like once a year. And I drool sometimes. Thank God for the CPAP now because it's inside the mask. I can just clean it out. But um, 
Yeah, I also fall asleep with makeup on, so uh, why would I ever get white pillows? Knowing I fall asleep with makeup on and you'll have like lipstick prints when I get up. Crazy Shannon. Next product, $4.49. I've got a lot of these, but I love cooking with wood. I really do. I think I have to get another canister to hold them all. But um, it's not real deep. It's like a soup spoon. And I wish it had a longer handle because you'd have to get really into the pot. But like if I make some mofongo, I could use it as a mole. Or sticky rice, right? Or just for looks. Put it out as decor. I have some of these as decorations in the cabinet, the hutch, and the dining room. Kind of expensive, but it's real wood, hand carved, $4.49. This is um, $2.18. I actually really liked it. I had a couple of ceramic pieces, uh, decorations that broke. And I, they were like sentimental. It was my grandma's. And I had this Timo glue that I got, and it really held it together. So this is, it says Vin... Live on military glue. And it's 50 grams, so it's a strong welding glue, apparently. And I have a little one. It's kind of liquidy, though. Where the other one is, like, thicker. Oh, I don't know about that. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know if glue should sound like water. All right, we're getting to the bottom of this box. And where am I at? Now we're 11. I need a couple more products. If I do the jewelry haul, maybe I'll bang it out. Oh, this. I love uh, $25.99. There should be two of them. There better be two of them for that price. Shit. Come on. But, uh, again, don't tell me there's only one. I paid $25.99 uh -uh, for one. The hell? No. There's, oh, no. Girl, I'm going to get mad. Hold up. Now, let me get my razor because I will cut you. Mm -mm. Okay, there's two. Huh. There's a little one and a big one. Okay. I saw somebody haul this and I'm like, okay, I need this in my life. It's got the white distress look again with the stand that I showed you. Envision it with me, my friends. And let's see if we can get it together. Get it together. So we got the top. Okay. I'm just going to put one together. Or I'm going to try. I'm going to open it. So this would look really good with my elephant actually over there. Yeah, I redecorating the house little by little. I kept saying I'm just going to start with the bathroom. But these pieces, honestly, it will go with the whole theme of the house. I've been really into that, again, that farm look. Because I want, I want a log cabin. I really do. Um, shoot, I have no idea. Oh, did I mess it up? You know what? I might have to start over, you guys. It's like a candle holder. I'm just going to try to put it together. Like, let me put this in here for a sec. I'm going to try. Does that work? That might be it, y'all. Go on. Maybe I'm missing a piece because I don't know what the flower is for. Maybe, oh, wait a minute. Hold up. I think I got it. I think I got it. I'm just looking at the pieces here and trying to remember from the picture. Let me see. Let's see. I could be wrong. I'll have to pull up the picture and see. But I think it's something to this effect. Now you are getting on my last damn nerve. I'm about ready to fight. You are just on there. Come on now. 
making me look stupid up here. I think this is somewhat of how the concept is supposed to be. Not real sure. Again, I will have to look at the picture. But... I think. See, this is the part on the bottom. I'm not sure of how the that like flower is supposed to be, but it's like a little candle holder, and of course, it's not tight. This has got to go up there somewhere. Maybe this piece, because it's just floating in there, goes up here. Maybe it goes up here, and then that goes on. But I know you. It's supposed to be a candle thing, so I am going to come back to that. Because I know I'm messing it up somehow, some way. I mean, it can't be that complicated. There's four pieces. I was just guesstimating. But yeah, there's two of them. There's one right there because I'm going to play with you later. Did I open this? Um, $4.75 for the next product. It is three pieces. And it is my Easter bunnies. They're just really cute. Kind of ceramic -y. A little tail in the back. Look at those eyeballs. How sweet. So that's the big one. That's the mama. I'm the mama. Get you in there nice and safe and sound. But let's get you in the right way. There you go. And then there's a baby. There's one baby. Ooh, won't do that. And two babies. That one's kind of standing up. This one's just chilling. And that one's kind of like standing up. That's sweet. The paint on it is really good. Sometimes like the gnomes and stuff, cute little buddy tail, that I've noticed are just like... <laughs> They say they're like hand painted or whatever. Yeah, uh, you just like literally slashed on a color of paint. You didn't even try to get in the lines or connect the dots. How disappointing. Don't be lazy. Do it right. Especially if I'm put this out every year. Now let me get your big butt in there the right way. But yeah, it's just that three piece set. What did I say it was? Five something? What did I say? 545? Get in there. I got the styrofoam casing. I don't want them to break. What did I say? Four seventy-five, even better. All right. One last product. This was sixteen fifty-five. I know what it is. More farmstead stuff. This is gonna look so good. Gosh, I wish you guys lived near me. I wish everybody was my neighbor. So when I have a garage sale. I just let shit go. Let me tell you, the most I ever made in a garage sale was about two years ago. And it was just, like, before I discovered Timo, it was just costume jewelry. You know, like, cheap stuff. And I made, like, $780 in one day. Just on my clothes. Like, a lot, I'll buy things without trying them on. They don't fit, and I forget to return them, so I can't return them. I don't want a credit. I get lazy, so I just throw them away. Or I got fat, and they got too small. Or I buy them on, like, Marketplace, and then uh, they don't look like I thought they would on me. So I give them weight. But, yeah, I almost made $800 about two years ago. I mean, I had a couple furniture pieces, but I think my most expensive thing was, like, $150. And it was like a brand new TV in a box, you know. But if you guys live near me, whew, the things you would find. I'm telling you, I love garage sales. I love it. I used to get up. We used to have a drive-in movie theater. And um, in the weekend morning hours, it was this huge flea market. My Back then, we had like a camper van and station wagon. We'd load it up. And my mom, would sell, she used to sell Tupperware. And uh, would just go there and she'd be like all right here's ten dollars get what you want and i'd go get come back like with roller skates and sean cassidy posters and yeah just love me some flea markets like like the old where every you guys ever have that you know flea market now it's like tents and 
little trailers, concession stands, and food trucks. No, I want the old stuff. I want where people pulled out one person's trash is another person's treasure, right? Some homemade gifts, they pull it out. Now it's like everybody's like, try my organic honey, try my homemade candles. Now nah, I can do my own homemade candles. So show me the crap that you didn't want anymore, right? Is it just me? So these, okay, kind of, eh. All right, love the idea and the concept of the decor. And it's just basically home. I'm sure you guys have seen this. Got your H, E. Or it could be he or eh. Sorry. Eh. But uh yeah. So the way they did it, the uh wreath is the O. So it's supposed to go. I just think these could have been better quality. They're kind of particle boardish, the letters, and then they got the stickers. So I gotta hang this up with those Velcro stickers. I thought it was gonna be like a wood ornament that I could hang up. I mean, it wasn't cheap, but it wasn't crazy expensive. This is like a plastic dollar store wreath. I mean, yeah, let me just show y'all. Eh. I like the decoration, and I guess I'm hoping you won't notice how flimsy it is. But, like, you're supposed to hang... Shit. You're supposed to hang it up with stickers, and it's just like... Like, you can get this at the dollar store, the letters, honestly. Now I'm going to have to find that damn little tab, although I do have the three, but it's got the peel-off stickers, and I think each letter has three. That's not going to be enough, even though it's thin. Uh, I don't know. Again, it, this is like a 50-50. I guess we'll see when I put it up, because it does go with... <gasps> excuse me, my other thing, but it's supposed to go like the H... You got the H, O, and then the way I think it was, it was like this, right? Ho! Ho, 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 oh, ho. Anyway, H, O, and then the M would go right under, and then the E, get the concept. I, I don't know. We'll see how it looks. I thought it was homey, but now it might be homely. And you know what? I am tempted to go through the rest of the jewelry. I'm doing all right. I mean, I'm an hour 22 in. You guys say you like the longer hauls. If I do the jewelry, it will be a longer haul. But if you want to see the jewelry and have me take it out and try it on, I don't just want to hold it up for you. So I think I have a couple more packages coming this week. Two more. Um, I think there might be some jewelry and makeup in there. So I think what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to wrap this video up for now. Um, just because I really... It's hitting me. I have some energy, but... Um, shit, I'm torn. Because it's like, do I just get through it? It's going to take a while to post. But then I am off for a little while. And I can do it later. I'll just see what I can do. Whatever. Um, these earrings were $1.28. Little bunnies. Obviously, I wouldn't try on all the earrings anyway, but they're cute. Just that acrylic. Let's do it. You guys say you like the long hauls. Let's do it. Let me get some more Gatorade. We'll do it. A lot of them are dupes, too, I guess. So I actually was watching um, some binge watching today, some U hauls, and I was watching. Um, Damn it, what is her name? I mean, I watched some Nona's here, but I was watching, um, oh, oh, she wanted to change her name. It's the nursery. Oh my God, it's gonna bother me. And I just lost the plugs to these. Is it Nona's nursery? Might be Nona's nursery, because I know there's another Nona's. But um, anyway, Oh, it's going to bother me and I can't look it up on my camera. But anyways, watch some of her haul. She's got like a nursery. She's got so many cute items, but she hauled these. So if you're watching this video, shout out to you. Correct your name for those in the comments. Post your link on the bottom. She does hauls too. She did Marshall's hauls. You know who you are. But she hauled these. I did a lot of them as well. So they're cute little bunny earrings. These ones, she did the pink and the white too. 
just like I did. And I've got quite a few of them, so maybe this won't be terrible to get through the jewelry. Um, and again, so those are the pink bows, right? And here's the other ones, in fact. I'm not quite sure how many I ordered, but... Oh, wait, it says right there. I ordered three three pairs of each color, so it was $1.84 each. And um, I don't want to open them all up because I already lost the backings to one of them. Let me get that in there. I just almost did the second one. So, yeah, you got the pink and the white. I'll show you one of each. So, just the bunny rabbit hollowed out earrings. They've... Um, Got like these little kind of rhinestones on them. Can you see that? They're really cute though. Yeah, I got a bunch of those. Um, also got this ring. This was a dollar thirty-four. I think it's a one size fits all. And again, getting ready for Easter. Before I know it, um, St. Patty's Day. I'll literally work another trip or two. And it'll be done. And a little bunny rabbit earring ring. How cute. Oh, shoot. Maybe it's... Yeah, it's different. Um, the, I think the ears would bother me. Honestly. I took a shot. But I think especially because I would just wear it at work. The ears, the way they come up, they kind of protrude off the finger, if you could see. Unless I turned it down, but then I think it would stab me. I don't want to take my moissanite ring off, but for the purpose of the video, I'll do it. And I it would definitely have to open it up more because that is small. Yeah, no, I could just... I don't know. Not my fave. I'll put my moissanite ring on. Um, next was a $1.34. And I try to save these little Ziploc plastic baggies, but that one's gone. Um, it's a bracelet, and it's just a cute little Easter bracelet. I guess I'll just take this one out if it's if I'm struggling quicker. I just put them all in a Ziploc bag anyway. But look at how cute. Cute little bunny rabbit on the end. And then these are glass beads. Yeah, it's cute. Next, uh, another color, same thing, $1.34, but it's just a different shade of pink, I think. No, no, maybe it's the same one. Same exact one. I'm not going to take it out. Same one, because that's obviously a gift for somebody. Oops, I said I was going to keep all the jewelry together. Look at me. I lied. Um, $1.48 for the next set of earrings. And these are just like little Mr. Peter Cottontails. Acrylic. Here comes Peter Cottontail. I'm trying to keep them all together on the tray. i got to be careful opening them because I'm losing all the backings and even though I've got tons I do like them to have their backings and these even though I have the jewelry displays that's kind of universal I put all the holiday stuff together at once uh next product okay it's the same earrings it's these ones I was showing you remember I told you got a whole bunch of them um oh these are cute these were $1.99, and I believe these one have the little fur on the end, and they do. Look at the little bunnies. I know you guys have seen these, because I see it every day. You got your cute little bunny face, little angel, and then the little fluff at the bottom, $1.99. I'm going to try to get through the jewelry, because you know the jewelry could take forever. Um, some more acrylic bunnies. These are a little bit different. These were $1.98 as well. Oh, come on. There's the plastic. Be careful. I just said I didn't want to lose the backings. Woman. But they're acrylic. A little bit of glitter. And they've got the little bunny cottontail butt on the back. Oops. Almost dropped it. 
cute. Come on, where's the backing? Come on, come on. Wants to stay in there. That's fine with me. Let me put it back in because. I know I'm going to go to sleep right after this video. I will wash my face though. <laughs> Being in the hospital, I slept a lot today actually. Just getting home from the hospital. And, uh -huh. This was $1.48. I think it's a brooch from the feel of it. An Easter brooch, and it is damn I'm good. It's got a little light for the tail, a little pink heart. I just wear that on the cardigan or on my uniform just to spice it up a little bit. Some more of the these. So if it's a dupe, I'm just showing you. See, you can see I bought three of each. So that's just what that is. These were $1.49. These are a little bit different. Now, I got to tell you that a lot of them, when I looked at them, they didn't seem like they were acrylic. And I... I went back to look at it and I'm like, oh, it probably should have said it was acrylic because they are kind of cheap and juvenile looking to me. I thought these were metal, but they're not. And again, for two weeks, typically before the holiday, I will start wearing the decor. Just like you see my nails are already St. Patty's Day and I get my acrylic gel sets like every two weeks. But in the picture of this, it looked like it was metal. And it's just acrylic earrings. And there's nothing wrong with them. Don't get me wrong. But this was different. This was $1.48. And I just thought it was weird. Right? Kind of like a Muppet El Elmo eyes. I don't know if they just picked the color. But it's a scrunchie. I just thought it was funny. I'm sure it's not going to look like unless I got it perfect. And I'm just doing a messy ponytail at this rate. But, like, I guess you'd probably have to really take your... Oh, no, maybe. That's kind of silly. That's me. Another pair of earrings. Oh, how much were these? $1.59. I wonder... Come on. Watch it. I'm just slicing it. All right, the t-shirt, and here it is, folks. Remember when I told you about the t-shirt with the bunny blowing the bubble gum that had the hair tie in? There it is. Got those earrings to match the shirt. You look around, and you'd be surprised what you could find matching shoes, leggings, that will go with that decor. So I will obviously rock that with that t-shirt I just showed you. Another pair of earrings. Big surprise. These were $1.48 as well. Oh, there goes the backings. These are different. I don't know. I was watching Hey Everybody today too, and she had a pair of earrings on that she said they were mix match. But she said it was bothering her too. Like, because, yeah, I, I maybe it's an OCD thing, but one side are your ears a bunny and the other side is a carrot, right? This is 14 carat. Just kidding, it's one. <laughs> Somebody stop me. All right, and then the bunny. Cute. Acrylic. All right. Shit, I'm going to have to start wearing different hair earrings every day now. Uh, next was at $1.19. This bag has tons of earrings, too. A lot of them are dupes too. These are just cute little bunny rabbits again. I didn't think they were acrylic, but they're cute. And they are flimsy then. I mean, even like if I said <laughs> the dupes, like let's say I'm out work for a week. I don't want to hold on to all this for a year. We could just send somebody out a pair of earrings. So what if it's $2? Somebody sent me something that was even 50 cents or a handmade card, I'd be happy. Um, what is this? Is this the dupe? Again, another dupe of those earrings. I got a lot of those. That must have been a lightning tip. Um, not going to take everything else out from now on, guys. Dill pickle earrings. I know I got more than one of these, but again, my last name is Dilling, and they used to call me Dill, or the Big Dill. 
when I was on the TV show, they're like, oh, you think you're a big dill? Not deal, but dilling in my last name, maiden last name. And ah, screw it. We'll do it. Screw it. We'll do it. And just pickles. Earrings, but I got a shirt that has the dill pickle on it. And it says, I'm done Dylan with you. And when I get married, my last name will be done, not Dylan. So ironic. Crazy. Like numerology crap. Uh, another pair of earrings, and I think that's it for this bag. I guess I could put them all in, but I'm afraid I'm gonna lose it. Um dollar forty-eight for these. Dollar forty-eight. These are cute. And they're acrylic, but they're like a different quality. I, I think it's because they're more matte as opposed to mm, they're just little Easter baskets. Dollar forty-eight. Gosh, I'll tell you what, when I die, I I have one daughter and she's gonna inherit all this stuff and she's into it like I am. She's not into Timu as much, but um I think she'll appreciate all the jewelry just the way I appreciate it. My mom decorating the house. Like my mom didn't dress up like that or anything. I'm gonna throw these in here. I'm afraid I'm gonna lose them. Still have a whole other bag of earrings. But a lot of them are dupes, just like this one was. So hopefully. Did I do this? Oh, yeah, the airplane nose ring thing I did. Okay. Whew! All right, Shannon, breathe. Where's your vape? Breathe. Go suck on some stuff that's going to kill your lungs, but breathe. Dollar ninety nine, another pair of earrings. Thought those would go with the uh, travel awaits t shirt, just like the planet, the globe, sparkly acrylic. These are kind of heavy. He's not heavy. He's my brother, but um, yeah, I try to match shirts with earrings. These now, okay, I got six pairs of these. So actually, this might go quicker than I thought. I'm going to take one out to be fair, but I got six. So if I just pull them out of the bag, I'm not skipping through anything only because they're dupes. And again, for my flight crew, they're little airplane earrings. Silver dangly. Uniform compliant for those that really like to stick to the rules. Again, I don't. But I got six of them. So there's a second pair. And if I can get through them and pull them out, there's three. These are the ones I'm wearing now. Just so you guys see, I'm not trying to skip out on anything. Those are different. Those are different. Those are different. These are the same ones I'm wearing right now that were 79 cents. Um, these I showed you too. The ones with the little gems in the beginning of the haul, $1.69. Again, when there's like lightning sales on this stuff, shoot, I um stock up. I like to give gifts. What can I say? These were a dollar forty-eight, and they're paper airplanes, acrylic, kind of cheesy and cheap to be honest with you, but fun nevertheless. I mean, like if I gave these to another flight attendant, and she's like, "Oh no, I'm allergic. I I can only wear real gold or something." Then I would just give them to maybe like a 12 year old girl on the plane or something. But they're just little paper airplanes with hearts. I think I got a few of those as well. Let me get to these other ones. 
these were pretty expensive for just earrings. These were $6.48. Why? I have no idea, but let's find out together, shall we? Oh, they like triple packed it. Love these little bags, though. I, maybe it's sterling silver, but um, some more airplane stuff. So it's got like an airplane that kind of sky wrote a heart. Can you see that? Sorry, it's getting a bit blurry. But it's a little tiny airplane. And it like sky dove a heart. If you can't see it, my apologies. Stick that back in the case. I should have saved the case. I'm going to save these because if I send any rings out to anybody... Because I notice a lot of other haulers will wear rings on every finger. I don't like more than one ring per hand. Um, these were $5.99. Another pair of like travel type earrings. Also really well cased. And maybe that's why they charge more. Did I tell you how much those were? Those were up there in price too. Sorry. It's in a pile. And it's going to be a lost cause. Might be a lost cause. I'm having a hey everybody Aaron moment where I can't open this. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is again uh, two different earrings. Guess it's a style. Like people wear the same shoe but different colors. What are they? Ear oh yeah, they're like little hoop earrings. Okay, okay, but they they're cute. Okay. So one's a little airplane, dangly, it's the hoop. I do like my hoop, so it's a little bit of both. So one side has just your airplane. And the other side has a little suitcase. And again, maybe um, they're sterling silver or something. I don't know, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to sleep with those in. <gasps> Damn it! Oh, I found it. Okay. Like, ugh. All right, next one was, oh my gosh, did I, I seriously paid $7.18 for these? What the hell's wrong with me? I must have got a check when I went shopping. We did get some bonus checks at work, like crazy bonus, like thousands. So I was like, mm, I'm going shopping. Little airplane that's even smaller than the last one. Again, the hoop comes up just a little airplane. Don't want to lose you, but 718. Yeah, I better look this up and make sure that this is sterling silver because I won't be making that mistake again. Not that it's a mistake, not that I don't like them, not that I don't think it's worth it, but uh, when you can get other earrings, decent earrings for like a dollar or two. To pay seven eighteen for me, it's like yeah, and it's got like a little globe. They're like little charms. So you got the airplane in one ear and the globe in the other. I mean, it's cute, but seven eighteen. I don't know what I was thinking. I got suckered. I think it does look like it's sterling silver though. So in all fairness, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt. Um, got a whole bunch of these, so I'm gonna just. Oh, shh. I want to hold on to these little envelopes. These little <laughs> envelopes. Look like dime bags. <laughs> um, dollar ninety-eight, and I got a bunch of these. I'm wondering if I put on the back how many I got. So again, I'm just going to show you one. To be fair. But because, as you can see, I've, I've got a bunch of them, and they're the same, again, more airplanes. Music is a sweet and sour dream. Music is my aeroplane. Pleasure spiked with pain. Some red hot chili peppers. So the wings have these little, like, the posts are bent. Bend them back. I don't know how they can crush the metal like that. Like, are they stepping on the bags? What the hell are they doing? But um, straightens out easy enough. 
The difference on this and the other ones that I had are these ones have little, um, the wings have like little gemstones on them. I'm going to put the backings in here. I'm going to use those little trays actually for now until I get them organized. <gasps> Dropping everything. But yeah, there's a few of these. We're doing it. Uh-huh. These were the $1.48 ones. I don't know if you could see that, but the one that I put in my nose that said they were really small. Um, this was 88 cents. Now, a little bit different than the other one I had, but not too much. Valentine's Day. I think the other one said hugs and kisses. This one says kissing booth. And we'll just throw that away. Second thing of the paper airplane ones. So these were Valentine's Day. Again, I'm going to have to really, I have some time off now since uh, I was in the emergency room and kept over, not quite overnight, but almost. They didn't admit me to a room, but by the time I left, it was almost a full day. So these are like acrylic, just little Valentine's Day kissing booth earrings. These I, I'm just trying to show you through the plastic, the same ones I just took out of my ears that were 79 cents. The bunnies we've seen, the dangling airplanes. Again, it had to be a lightning sale. Like these smaller ones that I just showed you, the dollar ninety-eight. I don't know how many I got, but obviously quite a few of them. Um, more paper airplanes. I'm trying to show you through the plastic. That was what dollar forty-eight. These are different, so we'll open these for dollar seventy-nine. And I love the Timu organizer that I hung up on the wall so I can go and say, oh, I think those earrings will look really good with that sweater today. Uh, $1.79. These kind of have like that wood look that I love, but these are more like a plastic acrylic. And even the top that's painted like a wood color is like acrylic, but I really like those. I like the design. It's kind of like a splash paint and just, I don't know, anything with the hoops I like. More paper hanging. The dangling earrings. Again, I think I told you I had six of those. We're down to it, baby. Where am I at? Oh, uh -huh, yeah. Here we go. I think I broke the last record. 40 cents, I told you. Pickled earrings. You already saw it. I'm pickled. Now these, I'll show you. This was $1.50. I don't know how many pieces were here. I can count them out for you, but they're just like little charms. I don't do my own jewelry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. But uh, again, sometimes I'll make personalized cards for my other flight attendants. We don't always work with the same crew. So I'll wait because typically I'll do a four day trip with somebody. And if they were exceptionally cool or good or sweet or did their job and weren't lazy, I'll just. I've got stationery. I'll write them a little card and say, hey, it was great working with you. Can't wait to work with you again. And I'll put like a little trinket inside the card. And it's just nice. It says, uh, to travel is to live. And you know what? I was in the airline industry since 2007. And Jay and I have been together for eight years. Do you know the only place I ever went outside of the continental USA? And even then, it was like I moved to Vegas after college uh, in 95. Was to go back and forth to see my family in New York and Jersey and PA. And I went to Hawaii one time. And then after my divorce, I went to Puerto Rico. But when I met Jay, and I've been in aviation since 2007. We've been together eight years, so 2016. I am telling you that I have seen so much of the world. Did not realize what was out there. Like, you can read about it in National Geographic, see a documentary about Spain. But until you're there, breathing that airy air and going into the castles and just, I'm telling you, if you can travel, see the world. It's so big and so small at the same time. It's life-changing. And Jay... You know, he did cruises. I had never been on a boat. Like, he's really opened my eyes to just the world. But I'm grateful. I got a good man. So this was $1.49. These are kind of uh, some more charms. 
and they're different ones and this is the last of it all but they're just a bunch let me close this up snap crackle pop i will drop it drop it like it's hot drop it like it's hot and i can't wait for my son's video the full video devin damata d-e-v-i-n last name d-a-m-o-t-a -A. find him on youtube soundcloud like music apps but um his second video is with another artist called temptation that's I'm supposed to be out at like six o'clock i think on march 8th but yeah these can be just like charms for a necklace you've got the inlet i don't know maybe put it on the keychain just a whole bunch of different aeroplanes got some bronze Got some big ones. You got some little ones. Oh, there's even a little helicopter in there. You got some bombers. Let me see if I can find the planes that I fly. This looks like an ERJ-175. That looks like the planes I work. <laughs> Turbulence. <laughs> Shannon's in the back. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Yeah, I just thought that was really cute. So yeah, I could, I don't know, if you're into doing charm bracelets, whatever. Again, I just put them in cards, like my homemade stationery. Great working with you, great flying with you. I did it. 151. You guys are going to have to look at my past. What do I have, 76 videos or so? Is this a record? Feels like a record. Feels like a record. Got some really, really good stuff in this haul. 98% uh, of it I'm satisfied with. The glue is going to be interesting. Like I said, it was kind of watery, but I got a hot glue gun. I got like four actually because, you know, I'm obsessive. But uh, the home sign, we'll see. I don't know. Now the real work is going to be putting all this shit away. Uh, but I've got a few days off. More than a few. I've got like uh, six, five, six days off now. And then Jay will come home from work and he'll be like, I thought you called out because you were sick. I'm like, oh, I'm so sick. And he'll bring me some food. I'm like, I love you. He knows. He knows I'm a faker. <laughs> he, he even called his dad. He's like, she will do anything to get out of work. I bet she like bit, got like just belly flopped into the Black Widow nest. Of course he's joking because I've had perfect attendance. The only time I've ever called out of work is if I'm sick, which I am. Um, even after I had that passenger die in my arms, I didn't call out of work. I went right back to work on my next shift. I did call out on the last flight home, though. I was shaking. Too bad I couldn't work the last flight. But it wasn't really considered a call out because it was like an emergency crisis situation. But it screwed me up. It me up. But, um, yeah, uh, for the most part, any time I've ever missed work was like hospitalization, surgeries, or a death in the family, family emergencies. I don't just call out because I don't want to go to work today. I don't think anybody wants to go to work every day, but I do it because I have habits to support and I like money and I like to travel. And the truth be told, I love what I do. I love doing this. Would I love to do Timu full time? Absolutely pay me to review products. that I, You don't even have to give me the products. Timu, if you're listening, if you can match, exceed the pay I have, make sure I have the same benefits, you know, where I can travel for free on four airlines and my significant other and my mother, then, yeah, you're not going to get those benefits anywhere else. But I'm just saying, when I retire in three years and keep some of those benefits, you want me to review your products? Your girl's in. Just give me substantial wages I can live off. Maybe a few products here and there. We'll call it a day. Anyway, my friends, I'm stretching it, trying to break that record. I love you guys. I have to remember to try some new phone apps where I can pause it and say, let me go get that meat and defrost it on that plate for you. I still have so much to learn. I want to learn how to put music and make my own little preview commercials for the channel someday, maybe someday. I keep saying that, as you know. It's in the plan. It's on the bucket list. 
But anyway, uh, for all of my new subscribers, I am so grateful for you being here. I have subscribed to a couple new channels out there. I suggest you do the same. Pay attention to those comments. Y'all, you can talk with each other. I love that stuff. I love it. So talk to each other. Check out Cindy Reviews for you. Check out Nona's here. Check out Nona's Nursery. I think it is our little gingerbread house. You know, hey, everybody, you guys probably are already on there because you know she's amazing. Twisted Gypsy, Ashton's Beauty. I really don't want to forget anybody. There's a couple people I'm going to be working on a collab with. We're talking about it, but it's like, uh, yeah, I just paid my car insurance. I pay for my insurance for the whole year. It takes a big chunk of change out. And I'm like, damn. And then it's like, all this shopping, I'm like, damn, damn. Then it's like, oh, I want to do the bathroom. Oh, man. Then the check engine light comes on in my minivan, and I'm like, oh, yeah. So I know I got a lot more stuff coming in. I don't like shopping when I'm depressed because this is what happens. And although it brings me a lot of joy, and I love Timo, and I do shop like a billionaire, I got to find places and spaces for all this stuff. And if I want to buy a new house to fit it into, I'm going to have to just kind of, yay, hey, girl, hold back. There, there, girl. But anyway, thank you for being here. Again, all my new subscribers, I'm so close to that 2000 mark. And when I do, I'll be doing a $100 giveaway through Cash App or Venmo, preferably. We'll work together if it's something you can't do. We'll link up. We'll have to exchange uh, addresses. You can trust me. I might clap back, but you're safe with me. Anyway, thank you again. A million times over for being here. Be kind to each other. I can't wait. Or can I? Hopefully I can do another haul when the packages come in. I don't know what's in them. I just know it says it's shipped. I can check the tracking, but when it comes in, I obviously have more hauls to do. With that being said... Love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day. Thank you for all the prayers, all the concern. I'm okay. Antibiotics, I got to go take some. It's going to make me throw up. So I'll be back when I can. Love you. Bye.